Oh, how you doing? I'm Hassan with I Drive Atlanta. And um, I wanted to bring some information to you about ratings and how important they are, because to me they're important, they're very important. And they're one of the most important things it is. Maybe I should have it on the other side of the board here right now, because we've got to get to this. We, 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 we finna get to this, we gonna get to this. Okay. Uh, you know, but when it comes to ratings, um, I have along my timeline here the ratings that I had. Okay, and as you can see, them ratings wasn't all. <laughs> when I first started off, of course I had a low, pretty low rating. I'm not going to say of course or anything, but I didn't know what I was doing. And you know, a lot of times I run into so many drivers. Well, I've been driving for years. They say they want to drive. Yeah, I've been driving for years, but remember the driving we do is different. That's not the same with bebop tango, riding around the corner, taking your friend somewhere, doing run of air into the stove and all that. Okay, this is a whole different show here, but you start there and be respectful hmm, of what it is that you're doing now and ratings help you stay in line with, with that respectfulness because if you fall below a certain rating, I think that rating is like a 4.6 or something, put you off the platform. And you, you got a rating like that, you need to be put off the platform. Now, get as offended as you like. All right? See, because what happens is the way you abuse a passenger or be, uh, be whatever you do to get a rating that low to a passenger. When I'm on Uber X and they get in my car, they say, I wonder if he going to be like him. That means I can't even sneeze without getting a bad rating because you run around here with that kind of rating. See, well, you ain't supposed to say that. Well, I'm, look, I'm just telling you the real deal, man. What we do affects each other out there. Okay, so. And I wanted to have really good ratings, so I paid attention to everything that I was doing here, and I found out that a lot of times what I had, what I had, and what I was doing, I had a bad attitude. See, because there's plenty of people out there who ride rolling around a Toyota Corolla with a 4.9 something rating. Okay. Now, I had to be honest with myself about that, okay, because I, I thought the drivers was getting together and doing, no, 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 what they was doing, the drivers who had the good ratings was paying attention to some of this stuff. Here, whether they knew it or did not know it, the drivers who had the good ratings were paying attention to these things. Whether they knew it or not, they were doing things like keeping a clean car which fall under service. Is that right? Huh? They was doing something like making sure they was clean every day. Huh? Huh? That their environment was a healthy environment. Is that right? Huh? Hmm? Hmm? They were doing safety things. They wasn't running them red lights or cutting them corners or trying to be driving like a fool, like driving like, you know, crazy all in the street, speeding and everything. Okay? If they were asked a question, they could clearly and honestly and with, with a proper attitude answer the question. Right? See? So, this is in ratings here. You're doing these things, your rating's going to improve in one form or another. Now, okay, like I said before, this is not poop butt league. I'm not, uh, I really don't want to um, give anybody any impressions. Because uh, they could do that because you get out here and get yourself hurt doing this work, doing this thing called ride shit. Okay, you get yourself out here and get hurt. And that's one of my main things, one of the main reasons that I'm uh, 
getting some degree of pleasure out of doing the videos because see I got through it and went all the way from Uber X and I stayed in the transportation industry. Now I'm a chauffeur, but I got all the way through Uber Black. I still do I still do black, I still uh do lift and like a do you know do a dual platform thing with with the ride share part. In other words, Uber and Lyft ain't nothing but a client to me. That's how I had to, you know, kind of work everything out. Because I've got all my other clients and it was kind of driving me crazy, you know, to figure it out. I'm just being straight with you. So uh, what I had to do to make sure everything was on the up and up with me is that I made everybody, you know, everybody's a client. Uber's a client, Lyft's a client. Um, all my I, all the uh, affiliate guys that I drive with and for their clients. Um, when we make agreements as chauffeurs, that oh, hey, look, you got this overflow. You can throw it to me. See, they're a client at that time. That way, I can treat everybody with first class service, like you know, like you want to treat people when you you know when you're doing this chauffeur thing. We're talking a whole nother league here. And uh, I'm not trying to tell chauffeurs how to be chauffeurs. They got that, man, man, look. Them chauffeurs got this down, baby. So when you finally branch over from Uber and Lyft or out of ride share and other cities, there's other stuff. But once you move out of ride share and uh, you want to move yourself up to another level, and get into the transportation industry. You don't have to be a chauffeur. This thing big, man. What you talking about? But you'll bring everything that you have learned here, huh? You bring that all on, on over into the transportation industry. And it's not just because I still do a peer-to-peer -peer thing because that chauffeur thing is like a peer-to-peer -peer thing, you know? Usually the people who, who are hiring you as a chauffeur, they're paying you very, very well to do what you do. So, um, you know, for them, and it's, and it's a big, big time service thing. This is why I'm bringing you into the importance of having good ratings, see? Okay, now, now it took some time, hmm? See? And I changed cars, and I think it was something in my attitude there. You see, you look, I had a Hyundai Ionic. That thing was all leather inside. Beautiful, boy. Woo! Beautiful car with great gas mileage and everything. Hmm? 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 But I wasn't... I, 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 I finally got to a 4.9. It came quick, man. Once I got the car... Once I got the car and started driving it and everything, and you know, I was doing a lot of adjusting of myself because, see, um, I did want a better quality of a, a, a person in the car. We talking, I wasn't a chauffeur then, you know, but I did want a better type of person getting in the car. See, because, I'll tell you why, I'm wondering if I can cut both sides at once, right? Okay, as I'm watching my ratings, what I'm noticing is that I need to stop picking up people who got less than a four point. Let me see over here. See, I says, man, people who got a 4.7 rating, they some jackasses, right? So I decided, okay, well, look, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to chill with that. I'm just going to stop picking people up who got higher ratings, even though my rating wasn't worth a damn, right? So uh, I started doing that and my rating started coming up. When I started picking up people who had better ratings, my ratings started coming up. Okay, now, I wanna try to move through this, through this uh, uh, quickly, but I want you to understand See, because you don't have to stay stuck out there driving no 12, 16 hours a day on Uber X 
And you get out of here and you're breaking one of these rules when you're doing that. I said rules, my, you know, rules that I try to follow. Man, you put yourself right in there with them carjackers. And I'm going to tell you this right now. You get as offended as you like. If you want to support people like that, something wrong with you, man. It's just because I'm making a video I don't call the name I want to call you. You're up here running around supporting people who will rob you. And then you want to lie about it. Okay, so, so much for that. You're already out here and you can get killed out here on the road. Just by the profession of the nature you do. The, 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 the nature of the profession that you do. Okay, see, see. So, so, why you wanna stay stuck over there working every day, seven days a week? Now, I'm gonna let you know this too, cause I, I got a little heated up on that last exchange. The, uh, you might actually like to be behind that wheel. You might actually like that. That might be a thing, it's a turn on for you because I found out that it's basically kind of a, a, a thing for me, a kind of a thing was a, something about it. Uh, you're having to watch all the time. You gotta pay attention to everything that goes on. You're seeing everything. You're remembering the, you know, the different places where the streets have changed and construction's coming in and new dead ends here, different subdivisions that you're running into. You're paying attention, you, you, you're keeping up with your tech. You keep your technology up, you know, you do that, you're, you know, uh, and, and, and then you got thousands of pounds of cubs whizzing by you and everything. You see, so that could mean something special to you. Understand it could mean something special and what I'm growing to understand is that if it means something special to me It could mean something special to others. You don't have to keep taking that low pay and you enjoying doing what you're doing Keep you out there in danger And all you get is some what, what does uber and lyft give you they give you some sort of like Gold war, platinum wars, this and that. You know, maybe you get a little trinket of this or trinket of that because, hey, you make this much money a week and you roll around on UberX because you might think you can't take the next step. You can. Matter, look, actually, you're taking the next step now. Just relax and bear with me here because I don't want this to go too long. Sometimes I get to tripping and I don't want to go, want to go too long here. The new car did make a difference. It made a difference in my attitude. It made a difference because I was seeing things around me begin to manifest themselves as, you know, as I wanted to, as building a business. I want quality service. I want to be able to get better service. So the Hyundai Ionic was perfect. It was leather, all leather interior. People thought it was, hey, is this, they get in there and be thinking, oh, this is Uber Black. <laughs> I wasn't even wearing no, you know, I was wearing my, the stuff that I was wearing, right? You know, silk shirts and all that, you know, <sighs> you know, I had my little style, right? Okay, but anyway, anyway, okay. Now, I kept working on the things that I need to work on. I wasn't just going to pull out just because I got another car all of a sudden. All my, man, I had to make sure that I kept my attitude right. Because I have said some things when people get me caught with that foolishness. Okay, now. Now let me get, move on down the road here. Move on down the road. I also changed the hours of day that I was driving. Because I found out I could not service people after 9 o'clock at night with all that drunk, racist, misogynist bull crap they was into. And it made me look at myself and see how stupid I was. All right? Some people don't get up to this far because see, they don't want to admit to, hey, maybe I need to change myself and my own attitude. I'm just telling you now, you get as offended as you like. Okay, now, when I get, I'm going through this stuff over here, over here, 
and it's pulling, my ratings are pulling up. They're pulling up. They're pulling up. But it did not reach to, uh, 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 I didn't get into the 9.6 level until I got that BMW. Mm -hmm. And by that time, I'm looking deeply in what it's going to take for me to make more money per ride. Because see, at this particular point over here, at this particular point over here, yeah, it was nice. I could do a whole lot of experimenting at 53 miles to the gallon. I didn't, give, I didn't care no more. It didn't matter nothing to me. You know, what, what I didn't care about was uh, the cost, because suddenly I was seeing such a savings, boy. I was seeing such a savings with that Hyundai Iron. See, so anyway, in that Hyundai Ionic, I got it to the point for, where 12% of my income was in tips, and I wasn't no chauffeur then. Okay, I was, you know, trying to, you know, fake it till I made, you know, do everything I can to give good service. I just didn't dress, you know, the way I'm dressed now. Okay, um, the way chauffeurs usually dress. I didn't hit over there until after I really wasn't really. I went from seventeen hundred dollars, and as soon as I became a chauffeur, see, part of this is still Uber Lyft right here. Part of this is still ride share. Part of it, was, you know, chauffeur. So when I got up to to, to uh, and I was deeply realizing what it was going to take for me to keep my sanity and service the people that I needed to service. Because I tell you what, I didn't want to be no, I don't want to be no dollar store. You just go to a dollar store uh, transportation person. Okay. Let's see. So when I get to over here, Everything began to change. A whole new experience, everything. So much for that, so much for that. Look, we'll get into more, some more of that. One thing I want you to understand is a couple things. Watch your ratings because it will let you know the energy that's within your attitude. Because my whole thing is treat people the way you want to be treated to the best of my ability, and what happened is, over here on this X, and everybody want to not even say nothing about it, you get some, man, some people treat you ugly over there. But it didn't stop me. So maybe we can get through this, this discussion with all that mess about whether well, you're not supposed to say that. See, because it gets on my nerves. You need to know everything you need to know if you're going to get started doing this kind of work. If you're homeless and you need something to do, you don't have to be homeless. Okay? You can start your way on. You can stop anywhere along the way. If you want to stay, what I call in the slave market, you can. Oh, you might be able to make, hey, look, you get down here and some of these income savings, you figure out how to do it and you ain't working nothing five days a week. Okay? So you won't, you know, it's a different issue. But if you feel like you got to, you don't. Just keep going. Okay, now, um, so, one, you pay attention to your ratings. Don't be afraid of yourself. Go and improve. Do what you got to do to improve. They ain't going to do nothing but suit you in the long run. Look, make what you do and how you do things at home, go ahead and let it manifest out here. You got guts enough to do it. You got guts enough to find out, no, I could do this better. See, take some, sometimes it take a lot of courage to say, no, man, I got to do that better. In this world of opinion, 
which opinion, you know, I look at, you know, I'm a writer myself, so I look at that word opinion, I see how people, I just, I says, okay, I'll go along with the colloquial thing, right? The opinion ain't based in fact. And every now and then I might throw something silly out there like that too. I hope I don't. I really, I'm going to try to keep the opinion aspect of this to those who are out here who are watching. And when I would look at the video, I'd say, hey, you, man, you crazy, man. You see what I'm saying? Uh, but if you're a person who you work in a job, I don't want to leave y'all out and your job ain't hardly paying you nothing, and people gaslighting you, making you feel like you less than, huh? You ain't making them $800 a week on that job. You can, if you know within yourself, you can do a better job for yourself, or you can build a business in the image that you want to build the business, build a business in, then ride share would be something that maybe you could look at. You're getting paid to learn. This is the beauty of this. You're getting paid to improve yourself. Huh? You're getting paid to build a business. Huh? You're getting paid to actually learn and practice good business principles. Is that right? You're getting paid huh, to, to experiment with what works and what don't. That's what keeps me rolling. Right there. If I ain't doing no experimenting, I'm slipping. Okay? You're getting paid, as long as you're honest, you're getting paid to end up getting educated in this transportation industry. Is that right? You're getting paid to actually practice good service and you'll mess up and you'll make mistakes, but that's okay. Huh? Huh? You'll find out how much it pays. Huh? To keep your health right, is that right? What a price, my goodness. I'm 67 years old now and everything, and I ain't bragging. Okay, you get paid huh, hmm, to know your business well enough to keep you safe. Is that right? Okay, well look here, look here, look here. It's going too long and everything got wired up and all that stuff. But anyway, like, share, well, like and subscribe. And if you know somebody, this might be helpful to, you know, uh, let them know about it, whatever, let, you know, whatever. Uh, then also on top of that, I do have my codes down below if you want to sign up for uh, Uber and Lyft. Uh, and I'm just saying I don't care who you sign up on. They're supposed to give you a bonus or whatever, but I don't care nothing about that because they ain't never gave me no bonus no way. Look, I don't create my own stuff when it comes to that. But anyway, so much for that. Uh, if something that I've said today maybe have helped you to move anything forward within your life or whatever, if something I've said that helped you to say, well, look, you're not stuck. See, then, you know, I got my little cash app thing down there. If you want to, you throw me something. And I do appreciate everybody who has. I mean, I appreciate uh, any, any help that you give. And of course, subscribe. Please go on here and subscribe. I'm making more videos. I'm coming out with more videos and things like that uh, to help people move themselves forward and get out of the dangerous thing of ride share. But if anybody's being ushered in to ride share because of something that I'm explaining to you, you want to change your situation, then you know, I do the best I can to help you to get through that without getting hurt, you know, uh, physically, mentally, all that stuff. So um, anyway, until the next video, drive safe and drive with confidence.